Hey, what is going on you guys? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you an updated version of my ultimate stock valuation spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Now, I am a big believer that one of the best ways to make great investments is to find the intrinsic value of a stock, which is why I'm excited to share with you this phenomenal spreadsheet that includes a completely automated stock screener and also includes four different valuation models in order to calculate the intrinsic value of a stock. Now this is an interactive spreadsheet and much of the process is completely automated. And we can see down here at the bottom, we have our stock screener, which is what we're currently looking at. We have Graham's valuation model. We have a discounted cash flow model. We have a multiples valuation model and a dividend discount model. And all of these roll into our output tab. So let's go over exactly how this spreadsheet works. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. Okay, so we are currently looking at our stock screener, which is the very first tab. And like I said, much of this process is completely automated. So let's say I wanted to perform a valuation of Apple. All I would need to do is type in their stock ticker here and hit enter. And you can see all of these metrics are gonna update automatically. We have a lot of Apple's business metrics listed, such as return on assets, return on equity, and all these other metrics listed here. We have all of their dividend data. We have the amount they pay in dividends, their dividend yield, and their current payout ratio. We also have their moving averages included. We have their current price, one year return, two year returns, and a lot of other data that I think is really important that I like to see. We even have an analyst target price listed here. You can also see here, we can adjust our day's change chart. So currently we're looking at a 730 day change, but we can just type in the amount of days we want. So let's say that I want one year. I'll type in 365 and hit enter and you can see this chart will update automatically. So let's go ahead and put this back on Microsoft and hit enter. So let's start looking at our valuation tabs now. And because I typed in Microsoft right here, you can see on Graham's valuation, let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see Microsoft's metrics have already been listed here. So we're looking at Microsoft, we have Microsoft's earnings per share automatically pulled, the PE of a no growth company automatically pulled, and the average yield of corporate A bonds is automatically pulled. So the only thing we need to plug in is our growth rate projections and the current yield of triple A corporate bonds, which we can look up and plug in for both of these metrics. And you can see based off of this, we can calculate the intrinsic value of Microsoft using Graham's valuation. If we jump over to our discounted cash flow model, you can see we have Microsoft listed here because it's linked to our stock screener. So all we need to do is plug in our free cash flows. We'll find the average growth rate. We can then plug in our growth rate for our discounted cash flow. Our free cash flows will automatically fill in, including the terminal value. Then the present value of these free cash flows will be automatically plugged in as well. You can see it's then going to take the sum of our future free cash flows. And all we need to do now is add our cash and cash equivalents and subtract our total debt. It's then going to calculate our equity value. And then we're going to plug in our shares outstanding. And once we divide equity value by our shares outstanding, you can see that our discounted cash flow price per share will automatically fill in. And now I know this sounded like a lot, but I have tutorials on my channel of how to perform each of these valuation models, but I've made this as simple and as automated as possible. So let's go ahead and jump over to our multiples valuation spreadsheet now. And you can see here on this tab, I already have it filled out, but I'm going to quickly show you how this works. So the idea behind a multiples valuation is we should be able to use a multiple such as price to earnings and use companies that are similar to Microsoft to value Microsoft. So let's say we want to value Microsoft compared to Apple because they are comparable and maybe Google and we can say Amazon as well. All we need to do is plug in these company stock tickers here and you can see all of this data will fill in automatically. We have the company listed their stock price, and their earnings per share. And we're gonna use a price to earnings multiple to value Microsoft. So in order to do this, what this spreadsheet does is it takes the stock price and it gets divided by the earnings per share, which gives us our price to earnings multiple. This spreadsheet then takes the average price to earnings multiple for these comparable companies. And it then takes this number, multiplies it by Microsoft's earnings per share. And using this, we can find our companies earning or excuse me our company's stock price and its intrinsic value so you can see when we use a price to earnings multiple using these companies and apply it to microsoft 
Microsoft's intrinsic value is $309 per share. So let's go ahead and jump over to our dividend discount model. And the idea behind a dividend discount model is based on a company's dividends that it pays out and its dividend growth rate, we should be able to find the intrinsic value of a company. So this is a very simple model that I've created. In order for it to work, all you have to do is look up the historical dividend payouts for a company, which I plugged in right here. It'll then apply what their yearly dividend payout is and find what their growth rate for each year is. It will then apply the average growth rate. We'll plug in a discount rate for our company and then our intrinsic value based off the dividend discount model will be automatically applied. And all of these models automatically roll into our output tab. So when we look at our output tab, we can see grams valuation, intrinsic value, our multiples valuation, our discounted cash flow valuation, and our dividend discount model valuation. And then we're gonna take the average of all these valuations to find what the intrinsic value of our stock is. And now I am a value dividend investor, so I always wanna apply a margin of safety to in my investments, which will help reduce some of the risk involved. So you can see down here, we have our current price listed and what the difference in the intrinsic value and the current price is. So let's say I wanna be pretty risk averse as an investor, so I'm gonna apply a large margin of safety. So I'll just plug in 40% right here and hit enter. And you can see based off of this, this spreadsheet will automatically tell me what my acceptable buy price is, which is $201. And since this, this is below the current price, the spreadsheet is telling me this is a stock that I should be selling. Now let's say that I'm a little more aggressive with my investments and I only wanna apply a 5% margin of safety. I'll put in five and hit enter. And based off of this, this spreadsheet will go on and tell us our acceptable buy price once again. And this spreadsheet is saying that this is a stock that we should be buying. So there you have it. That is my updated complete stock valuation model. We have four different valuation models listed and a phenomenal tool in our stock screener that has a lot of really important metrics listed. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.